Hello, and welcome by a new Quote Friday, people. Do you remember this plant? Oh, I did uh, actually show it to you on the beginning of my uh, Rex of um, videos, uh, Quote Friday videos. And I was today thinking about showing you it again. It has also grown some uh, baby tree leaves. I don't know if you can see them. There can also grow out to become a um, banana tree. Oh, I see also that I have to give water later on. But, so you can see, he's grown and he's not that. And maybe I have to put the next year in a bigger pot, but until now, it is still alright. So, let me start today. One other video. The first quote is from Einstein, and I think I've already seen him once. And it is actually this world isn't is a dangerous place, not because of the people how are evil, but because of the people how refuse to do anything about the evil, because of people how are basically selfish, those how are refuse to reason are bigots, those how cannot reason are fools, and those how are not daring to reason are slaves. Any miserable fool who has nothing to be proud of himself tries to find as a less resource pride in the nation where he is born. He is ready to protect all their follies, all their imperfections, tales and news in order for his own insecurity. Arthur Schopenhauer, this is the last one, patriotism, like most people think, or is the same thing as nationalism in his essence. A one patriarch is somebody else proud of his nation. Why? Why are you actually proud on one well, accident? That you are being born in a certain country is an accident. Why should you be proud on something that you cannot do something about, that you have not choose? Why should you be proud on the whole country? Why not try to be proud of your own things that you have done in this world that you in the own, your own positive chances. Patriotism is a disease. This quote can be for uh, patriotism and put in place of patriotism just as much as there can be as not for nationalism. Like Einstein once have said, patriotism is the Missiles of mankind. It is a disease. It is a little disease. Arthur Schopenhauer did say what's patriotism when it's um, is interconnected into the society. Um, it should be moved out of office as fast as possible. If you only you only need small groups of people who are evil and lots of people who are selfish to create an holocaust. People who are selfish are not willing to self-sacrifice. They are not willing to put themselves out of their own position and watch things from the other position. 
and are not even willing to give up a little bit of their privilege to get a more fair world. The fact that so many people refuse to go vegan, even it does not only affect the lives of billions of land animals and trillions of marine animals, but also ex actually destroy in the lives of children that die from starvation in Africa. Are you a racist? Oh, are you, are you non-vegans? Are you a racist because you are the people starving st in Africa? Any two seconds a child starves from starvation because all their food is given to livestock and then transported to the West. So, check your privilege, people. You can feed on one acre of land around um, six people on a plant-based diet, but you need three acres of land to feed people on a Western slash American diet. Rich, the richer western slash american diet you don't have to be i said to figure out what is destroying this earth it is people are breathing too much first but it is also more people eating animals the rainforest is cutting down do the math just like what this what i said before it takes uh, three to four acres of land to feed somebody on a western carnage diet it takes just one six of an acre of land to feed people on a plant-based diet like we like most vegans eat you don't have to be Einstein to figure out what is destroying the rainforest dude the soy is feeding the livestock the core most of the corn is feeding the livestock. It takes from 5 to 26. Dependent on the animal in question. To, um, Produce one pound of flash. On one acre of land, you can grow around uh, 50,000 potatoes, 40,000 tomatoes, around 30,000 carrots, a pound of, pounds of carrots. Um, you can only have uh, around 100 to 250 pounds of flowers dependent on the animal in question. So, please check your privilege. Any miserable fool have nothing to be proud of. Try to find his last soul proud in the nation where he's born. He's ready and happy to protect all his foolish tales and ills in order for his own insecurity. Check your privilege. The United States, just 5% of the world population, age around. 20% of the animals on the planet. With exception of maybe Australia, how also are uh, very fat. They are eat the highest amount of animal products on the planet per capita, per person, per capita. The Latin word for property. Those who don't dare to challenge authority are slaves. Those who don't can 
are fools. Those who are not want to are bigots. Most vegans are not born vegan. And we are not bigots because we are reasoning. In contrary with most of you, carnists, are just following what the status quo tell them. And I'll act like fools by that criteria. Or selfish. Injustice everywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Where justice, where injustice remains, can always grow harder and more injustice. It is easy to say and see that somebody who is cruel to animals cannot be a good person. Martin Luther King Jr. Another one of Schopenhauer. This one is this. It goes like this. Compassion of our animals is generally considered to be a sign of goodness of character. And therefore it can be with comfort of and assumes that somebody who is cruel to animals cannot be a good man. If you want to, if you want to know the uh, the greatness of a nation, you only have to look to this quote of Gandhi. The greatness of a nation can be judged on the way the animals are treated. It is. Animals are considered most often the lowest class of the society. They are lower than slaves in our current society. Maybe not when it comes to opinion animals in some cases, uh, but you also have to remember there were two types of uh, nigris, the house nigi. Uh, the field niger. Um, the house nigris were treated far better than the fields ones. They get closing. They they live in a small house close to the building, the main building of the plantation. Yes, and I pronounce it a little bit weird because, you know. You people have decided that that word is a curse word, so I was thinking I talk, try uh, around it a little bit. Even uh, the word is just the Latin word for blank, just like albino is uh, albedo is for is uh, white. So. Do you also know that Africans sometimes did sacrifice Abino Abino Africans? You must should check that out instead of be a bigot and saying, oh you're white, you're a racist. Talk to the hound if you don't as you do that thing. You know, once I will refuse to reason, no bigots. Once I don't can reason, are fools. And those who are afraid to reason, are slaves. When darkness and light become one, the reality splinter away and the truth become visible. I see you next time. By the way, Say hello to the plant and go vegan. Maybe it wouldn't be the next time this big if I showed them 
in around a month or something like that again.